Hi, my name is Matthew Nilsson from Ford Performance Racing. I'm the engineering manager here. Welcome to the Norton 360 Engineered for Speed technical section. Today we're going to have a look at the fabrication department that we have here in-house at Ford Performance Racing. We'll start by having a little bit of a look at the equipment that we have available to the guys. Um, we've got five or six guys here full time um, fabricating the components for the car. Again, we try and do as much of that in-house uh, as we can for quality control. So a bit like you'd seen in previous episodes with the machine shop, it's all about trying to maintain the, the, the quality of the parts that we make and knowing that they're going to be right for fitment to the cars. Um, we've tried to give the guys as many facilities to be able to achieve that in-house without having making too many parts outside of, uh, outside of FPR. Um, so we've got fold, folding equipment, um, uh, trimming equipment for the actual big sheets of aluminium and steel, uh, plenty of vices, um, all, the, all the grinding and, and pneumatic equipment that goes, goes with uh, fabricating the components. Um, one of the key ones that we probably get done out of house is the laser cutting. So a lot of our components we actually, uh, again, design uh, upstairs in the, in the engineering office um, and actually create a file that allows a, a company to, to laser cut the component in a flat sheet which we then fold and bend and, uh, and, and uh, weld here in-house to achieve the end result. But it just shortcuts that process so that, so that the guys aren't individually cutting the sheet or the components. Um, again, it's all about the efficiency. Um, so if we keep moving around here, we'll start by looking at some of the jigging that we use. A lot of what we use, um, being a fabricated component, requires jigs to make sure that it actually meets the uh, design requirement. Um, so this here is our uh, rear end jig, so for making the diff housings. Um, as, as you can see, it's quite a substantial piece of equipment. Um, uh, fully able to rotate it um, to manipulate the component as you need to and, and, uh, and weld and fabricate as required. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the uh, jigging fixtures are, are big thick pieces of steel. Um, when we fabricate the, the components, because of the heating and cooling process of the material, um, there's a lot of um, a shrinkage um, through that process. Um, and we try and minimise the amount of movement that can happen in the component once it's actually being fabricated. So again, quite big pieces that, uh, that don't allow any flex in the system and make sure the, the key structure um, is maintained as required. So that's the diff jig. Um, if we keep moving along here, uh, we've got Travi, who's our, um, our fabricating uh, department manager. He's actually constructing some front rails. Um, so this component um, is, is welded onto the chassis rail of the, of the, of the main structure um, during the, the build of the car. But uh, these ones in particular are probably to go into our spares just in case uh, during mo a major accident we actually have to cut the rail off. It's, it's beyond repair on the car itself. So sometimes what we'll actually do is cut that rail off at the certain section and then just stitch, stitch this component back on. Um, so again, you can see there's quite substantial structure around maintaining the, uh, the critical points. Um, these, for example, are, are the specified uh, chassis pickup points for the top arm. Um, as stipulated in the uh, regulations for V8 supercars. So we've made sure that, that those points are uh, well maintained as, uh, as required within the window we're allowed to work with. Um, if we keep moving along here, this is actually our select um, that we would use for our current cars um, in the instance of, uh, of damage from a, from a crash. So you can see it's basically a table structure that we're able to bolt um, anything we need um, to, the, to the structure to be able to fix and, and pick up the critical points. Um, so this, this particular section here, that picks up the rear, uh, um, rear beaver structure or the, the rear panel that, that bolts onto the back of the car. So it makes sure that it's fixed in the right, right spot, so it picks up the rear rails. Um, and that determines a lot of the other components like the quarter panels and the rear bumper um, and fundamentally where the rear wing sits because um, it's all referenced off similar points and when the boot lid bolts down um, it, it relies on those points being correct. Um, this structure here is, um, is to pick up the, the rear rails um, for the uh, rear trailing arm points. Um, so that's, that is ground zero for the V8 supercar. Um, the rear trailing arm boxes um, determine a lot of the measurements that is referenced off in the regulations. So, so these points here are very critical to get right. Again, we bolt the car down in the rear through there. And then if we move to the front, uh, we bolt it down through this structure here. So there's four points that pick up the base of the rail. Again, specified points by V8 supercars. And then this structure here all helps us build up uh, what we call the shotgun panel um, and the damper pickup points. And, and there's other jigs and fixtures that, that secure to this um, to make additional points. So again, you see it's quite a substantial structure. Um, and then if we turn over here, um, for us at the moment, this is where Car of the Future starts. Um, this is our actual chassis build uh, select, um, that where we build the cars. So we've, we've built our last FG Falcon, um, which uh, we debuted one at uh, Willowbank with Will. 
and the next one at Phillip Island with, uh, with Frosty and, uh, and Richo. Um, but because we're no longer actually building cars, we can rely on that other um, fixture for repairs. And what we're going to do here now is we've, we've uh, removed all the fixtures off this, cleaned it down, and we're starting the process of working out what we're going to need to do to build car of the future. Um, so you can see a lot of uh, adjustability in, in the holes that uh, you can fix uh, bits and pieces too. Uh, but fundamentally for full performance racing, this is where Car of the Future will start.